Hey everyone, welcome, welcome. It is the eighth video in the Rune series. If you're brand new to this series or you're a little bit behind, the playlist for the rest of the Rune series is up here in this boop little corner as well as in the description, to bo blah, 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 description box down below. There is a link you can find down there. And if you're brand, brand, brand new and you end up really liking this video, hey, hit that subscribe button over there, you know, if you want. Today we are looking at the Rune Munio. This is a fantastic rune because it means joy. In Anglo-Saxon poetry, joy and happiness are defined as knowing very little of pain or sorrow or woe, having adequate resources, and also having the means to protect those resources. The Scandinavians specifically viewed happiness as the result of both wisdom and having a good reputation. And of course, the reward for having a good reputation was friendship. I'm not going to bore you with a full etymological analysis of the word, but the word wunyo is also related to the word wish. And that kind of makes sense if you think about it. I mean, who doesn't wish for joy? Who doesn't wish for the things that will bring them joy? So here's the funny thing. In modern interpretation, scholars seem to have a little bit of trouble nailing down and agreeing to one solid way of interpreting it. And this is due, almost paradoxically, to Wunyo's simplicity. As Diana Paxson wrote in her book, Taking Up the Runes, let me read it right out of my notebook here so I don't get it wrong, joy, happiness, and bliss are desired by all yet by their nature, they are almost impossible to define. And this totally makes sense because think about joy. It means so many different things to so many different people. Joy is caused by different things for different people. And of course, there's always a warning here as there is with every rune, too much joy is not always a good thing because it can lead to complacency and blindness to problems. And of course, both of those things will only eventually destroy your joy. This is a great one when it comes up in a reading, not only because it means such a good thing, but also because usually, not always, but usually, you can interpret all of the runes surrounding you, Munio as having a positive interpretation. It often suggests good news or a good outcome of something. Harmony, success in relationships, and success in group work. Munio can be used in any spells for luck, happiness, friendship, or prosperity and it's really great for honey jars. Just beware, if it comes up in a reading and it's reversed and you choose to read the reversed runes, it could be warning you of complacency or that you are so tremendously happy or you will be so tremendously happy that you might be blind to issues coming up or other problems going on. I mean, think about what they say about wearing rose-colored glasses. It can also be warning of alienation or difficult times ahead. Okay, that's everything on Wunyo. Hopefully this was helpful for you. If so, please hit that thumbs up. You can always contact me through email or on Instagram or of course in a comment down below. I don't know why I said it like that. I will see you all next Wednesday for part nine of our room series.